Okay, so today I'm going to be going over the best ways to not kill your gains while on vacations. Let's get into it. So first thing is, first I'm just going to quickly show y'all my workout from today. Let's watch that first, and then I'll start showing y'all. But obviously you want to try and get your workouts in if you can. So I'm going to start off with some heel touches, I think, today. I'm just doing core. I'm probably just gonna do two or three sets of everything. Just get a couple sets in, just to get some core today because I went to the beach this morning, so I didn't get to go to the gym. But um, yeah, just get a little core work in today. And then, so today's Monday. I'm here Tuesday and then I'm leaving Wednesday night with my family, so probably the next two days, I'm gonna, I'll talk about this a little later in the video, but I'm gonna go to a gym and I should be able to do it for free, which is one really easy way to get workouts in when you're on vacation because if it's free, it's a lot easier to go. I know money can definitely be an issue for a lot of people and you might not have picked a spot where you're vacationing where you can have like access to a free gym but using this little trick you can get into a lot of gym for free. So the second set. Also another really good trick is I know a lot of times when I have vacation time can definitely be a hassle like trying to fit in a workout because maybe your family has something planned or you guys have something planned or you need to go somewhere so as you can see i'm literally in my bathing suit as i said i was at the beach earlier and it's raining right now which is why i'm working out on the balcony and not in the backyard but um just trying like because it's raining and right now we have a little bit of downtime that's why i'm like squeezing in a workout today just trying to find these little bits of downtime where you just do something Especially if it's something where you're about to do something with water. Because then, like, I don't need to shower after this work. I'm going to a pool. So, that's another little trick. And also, don't forget, you are on vacation, so you don't gotta be going crazy. You're just trying to maintain what you did. That's why today I'm just doing a nice little core workout. Another thing is, when you're going out to eat, one thing I try and do is I try and time up my diet based on if I know I'm going on vacation. So, like, for example, I've known I was coming down to Florida for a couple days for, like, probably four or five months now. So I cut, I did a cut for the past probably like two and a half, three months. And I made sure my cut ended like literally around a week before I came down here. So I knew that I could be starting a pull. Right now I've kind of just been like maintaining my weight for the past like week. But then within the next week or two, I'm gonna start a pull. So if I put on a little bit of weight over the on this trip, I don't really care as much. So I, now we're gonna do some Russian twists with my water bottle. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my water bottle to get some added weight. This is another thing you can do though. You can find some just objects around the house. You can use this in added weight. This water bottle is probably not heavy at all, but probably got about a third of a gallon of water in here. So, weigh something. Nice, like five, ten, five pound weight, probably at best, but it's something. I had a little bit of extra resistance, and then I can use it as a drop set. It. Just using that weight, just literally anything. My someone's five, 10 pounds around the house. You do, use that as an added weight, especially if you're just doing like a core workout, because you don't usually need that much weight for a core workout. And doing it outside, because I'm in that Florida heat, definitely helped me get sweat. Or are you sweating? Another thing though with, um, because I feel like a lot of times on vacations, you're gonna go out to eat. A good thing is if you can try and do something like eggs for breakfast, it's a nice cheap breakfast. Gets you some good protein to start off the day. So eggs for breakfast is really good if you can do it. But, um, where is that? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, when you're, a lot of times you're probably gonna go out to eat a good amount of meals. So you're just gonna wanna try and look for like the healthier options. Like for lunch, probably try and go with like a salad or something. If you're just gonna kind of cut, try and bulk, eat what you want, just make sure you get your protein in. But if you're trying to uh, cut, you're gonna wanna go with a lot of like grilled chicken options. Those are gonna tend to be like the lowest calorie for salads, stuff like that. You're gonna try, probably try and look at it. You're gonna probably try and want to stay away from things like um, pastas. Pastas usually tend to be higher in calories, especially with a lot of the sauces they use when you're going out to eat. 
But also, don't forget to enjoy yourself. It is your vacation. So, you're going to want to um, enjoy it. Alright, so one other thing. Another thing that you should definitely, should definitely take into account while on vacation is a lot of times you're going to be more likely to drink while on vacation. Obviously, I know some of you probably don't drink, but especially, remember, obviously, 21 up drinking. But um, if you're going to drink, you're going to want to stay with your, your clear liquors, your tequilas, your vodka more. Obviously, if you don't like them, if you're on vacation, do what you want, you know. But you're going to want to stick with stuff that's clear and a lot of the, um, the low calorie mixers, you're not drinking the calories as much. But if you're drinking alcohol, you are drinking the calories to a degree. So, if you want a more um, in depth breakdown of like what to drink while you're on vacation, you are a drinker. I have a video that I will, um, I'm gonna try and put one of those little like pop up things in the top left, right? I honestly don't know what side that'll be right now, but I'll try and put that there. If not, I'll um, tag it at the end of this video on the end screen. So, you know, I think I'm gonna end with two good sets of planks. Oh. Oh. And the best part is because I'm recording this on my phone. I have no clue how long I'm gonna be planking for, so I guess I'm gonna count my head. Just trying to go to failure, honestly. Going back to something I was talking about a little earlier, though. Um, obviously, you wanna try and get your workouts in, but a great example here. I went to um, Greece a year ago, and on the first island we were on, on the Paros, there was no chance. I wouldn't even be shocked if like, I wasn't even a gym on the island. There's probably one, but there wasn't any gyms nearby and there was no way for me to get to one. So calisthenics like this is going to be your best options. Push-ups, pull-ups, burpees, air squats, lunges, most core exercises. A lot of stuff like that if you don't have access to gym equipment. And then my knee's a little messed up right now, so I can't go for a run, but I would have loved to have gone for a run because around here, I'll show you guys after this set, I can show you guys like the view from the balcony I'm on, but it's not, there's not a lot of cars driving by. It's relatively flat. It'd be great to go for a run, and especially because the pool's pretty close. I could have just gone for a run, ended it at the pool, go hop straight in the pool, drop my stuff off at the pool first even, you know, something like that, but I can't right now because my knee, but it is what it is. You gotta make it do with what you got. So I have a tiny balcony, so that's what I'm lifting here. Also, I have another tip um, food related. Sorry that I'm like jumping around, but my brain is just all over the place right now. But another food related tip would definitely be before you're gonna have a meal, if you're in a cut and you don't wanna have as many calories, try and have like a cup of water before you eat because that's just gonna allow you to feel satiated or full faster. As well as if you have higher protein meals, protein has a high satiety index, which basically means it will make you feel full faster than things like carbs. That's why you can sit down and you can have a full meal be full and some folks out of that chips and probably eat some chips. But someone asks, hey, do you want to this chicken? You're gonna say no. This chicken is high in protein, whereas the chips are high in carbs. So that's just another little like, trick. And also your workouts don't have to be long. This is probably only gonna be sitting out here for like 20 minutes. So all right, I'm gonna have my last set of plank. And then I'll probably catch y'all tomorrow to be honest. So I'll hit this last set of plank. And then yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be my workout for the first full day I was here. So yeah, just so you guys know my trip is from, I got here last night on Sunday. I'm here all day, Monday, Tuesday, and most of the day Wednesday. So I didn't obviously record anything for Sunday because I just want to kind of record most of the vacation. But um, yeah, so that's the Monday workout. Um, going out to Christie tonight. I believe that my mom said I got $5 on margaritas. Tonight's probably gonna be the one night I drink while on vacation. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. I will catch y'all tomorrow probably at some point. Catch you there.
Okay, so it is day two of vacation. It is Tuesday now. Um, I just got my lift in at a crunch that was nearby. And I wanted to let you guys know, I don't know if everyone knows this, but I wanna let you guys know. If you go to a lot of um, gym locations that you've never been to before, and especially if you've never been to that like chain of gym, if you ask them for like a free trial or like a trial workout, a lot of times they'll just give it to you for free. You'll just get like a free lift in. So like, for example, the first time I went to any crunch location, I actually had a three day free trial. So I was able to go three days in a row and just try out the gym to see if I liked it. Now today, because I've done that before at other crunch locations, they didn't let me do it. So I had to buy a day pass. It was uh, 15 bucks, which wasn't bad for the day. So I, that's how I got my workout in today. But you can, like I've done that at LA Fitnesses too. Plus if you have like family in the area and they work out, a lot of times they reuse a guest or something like that. Like I know um, at one of the LA fitnesses in this area, cause my, um, I have some family of those in the area too, outside of like my parents' house. Um, they gave out like free trial passes to some of the members there. So then my um, uncle who went to that gym, he was able to just give me one. So I got like a one day free trial at that LA fitness. So like there's definitely a lot of ways where you can like try and get like a free workout in at places nearby, or as I said earlier, you can do calisthenics, or if you don't mind paying, like I paid 15 bucks just for the day pass today. So a lot of things like that. And if you're someone who travels a lot, you can also try and pay for a little bit of a more expensive membership at your gyms, because a lot of times that'll give you access to like more locations. So those are just a couple of like easy ways to get access to a gym, either free or maybe a little bit of money, whatever. But if you want to get your lifts in, you gotta, you're going to have to try something. So that's what I did. I, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Get you there. Okay, so it is officially my last day in Florida. I just got a lift in at an LA Fitness nearby my family. So unfortunately, my family that lives in the area had these like passes that you're supposed to get a three day free pass at LA Fitness, but apparently they were uh, two years old. So I didn't get to use it. So I ended up having to uh, pay for a day pass. It was like 20 bucks, got a nice back and buys lift in. So it was a nice lift, you know, but um, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, fly, I'm going to lunch with the family in a little bit, then flying home tonight. So that's probably pretty much gonna be it for this video. I'll probably do one little final recap when I um, get back to my house at home. But for now, I'll catch you later. Okay, so as you can see, I'm obviously back home. Um, it is Thursday night now, actually, because I got home at like midnight last night. So I was tired. I just went like straight to sleep pretty much. I showered and went straight to sleep. So one thing I talked about was obviously on vacation, if especially like, cause you're eating a little worse, might be drinking a little bit, you're pretty likely to put on weight. So like, for example, when I weighed myself this morning, I was two pounds heavier than before I left. But one thing that I feel like not enough people like think about is yes. So technically on vacation, I put on two pounds, but a lot of times, like the second you start going back to your normal eating patterns, like realistically for me, like that two pounds is probably going to go away, which considering I'm about to start a bulk is whatever. But so I just wanted to like remind people that, that like whatever weight you put on on vacation, like a couple pounds of it or like a portion of it is going to go away once you just start eating normally again, your body will like re-regulate back down. Obviously, if you put on like 12 pounds over vacation, that's gonna stay. If you're eating like crazy or drinking like crazy, then yes, that's gonna stay. But like, like I put on two pounds, like that's not really gonna stay. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned kind of how to like not kill your gains while on vacation. So like, comment, subscribe, send this to anyone and everyone you know, and I'll catch y'all next Sunday at 5 p.m. Catch you there. Thanks. Thanks.